Welcome to Super Return International. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to see you here and to talk about your project because it's been going for nearly two years now. Where is Level 20 at and how encouraged are you by what you've seen over the past two years? So we're, we're incredibly encouraged actually by the response to um, our initiative, Level 20. As you know, it started two years ago, uh, just over two years ago. And um, the response has been amazing. Um, we now have more than 1,200 members, individual members, um, and we have over 40 corporate uh, members. So it's been an enormous uh, take up by the industry. And I think it's really because it's addressing uh, a need that was basically unmet before, and it's really been embraced by both GPs and LPs. So Dana, a huge appetite for it, obviously, and judging by the, the member numbers there. Absolutely. Why is it necessary? Um, and why is it so needed in this industry? I think, as Helen mentioned, um, the diversity need, the need for women to contribute. Um, there's lots of statistics out there that all of us have read and the GPs have read about how diversity lends itself to improved performance. And that's really what we're all about, improving performance of private equity. And if you look at our members, as Helen mentioned, 1,200, about two-thirds are under the age of 35. So young women wanting sponsorship, support, networking, able to contribute and be retained in the private equity industry. And they're coming out in, with lots of keen interest and, and networking and ability to, to bring a lot of content um, and discussion around firms and change the culture. So they're super contributive and super excited about this as well. You talked there about changing culture, Kathleen. There's 2,300 people at Super Return this year. It's, it's enormous, but sadly, there are very few women in the audience and, and, and on stage. What would you say about that and how positive can we be about where this industry is going? Well, the good news is there's only one way to go and that's up. So, <laughs> so at, uh, I think it's 9% of, of private equity is, is populated by women. So, so we've got a long way to go. And yes, I, I do think we could probably do a slightly better job in terms of the representation here. Uh, Helen just ran a panel where she polled the audience and, and they would like uh, to focus on gender and, and that issue here in the industry. I was on a panel with three of the stalwarts of private equity, very visionary people, very good at what they do. But I did make the, the comment that maybe in the short term, uh, three of their very successful women could also be on that panel. So I, I think that there's a, there's a way to go, but there's a, a real need to to increase the female population in events like this. So Dana touched on the topic of, of what women bring in terms of cognitive diversity. You've done yeah. an awful lot of research as yes. well, Helen. Tell me Absolutely. about why this is so important and why it makes sense for this industry. It, it makes a huge amount of sense because this industry is all about performance. It's all about the numbers. And people aren't going to do this because it's the right thing to do, although it is the right thing to do. They're going to do, do this because it's an incredibly competitive world out there and people are looking for the right sort of mix of talent. Um, they're looking for people coming from different angles and they're looking to avoid the sort of group think that you get when you have any group of very homogenous um, people that have got together. So um, inclusion is incre incredibly important for the performance and for the well-being of the industry. I think that's why, um, as, as Kathleen mentioned, we just had this um, polling session, electronic polling session. It was anonymous, so people could have picked other responses. And the top response was that gender diversity is an important issue for the industry and it has to be addressed now. And we've got great support actually from one of the GPs uh, on the panel and also from a leading LP. And we need that too. We need the senior people in the industry to recognise this and to want to push it forward, which is so, what they're doing. And there are so many talented women out there, Dana. I think you specifically Absolutely. run part of Level 20 that looks at young leadership and qualities in the women that you see already in this industry. What can we do to nurture that and make those women stay in the industry? Yeah. So we have designed, um, and they have completely embraced it, a committee of future leaders where they're organising and contributing to research efforts um, led by Cecile Bellaman and Helen. Um, contributing to philanthropic things, and most importantly, contributing to certain events with really rich content. So it's not just about balance of career and maternity leave, while those are important. It's about getting women together to improve negotiating skills, structuring skills. How does ESG, for example, impact? And all these things contribute to the culture of their firms to enable these women to be promoted 
to stay in the private equity industry and also to have a network amongst each other to support each other. You talked there about the network. Level 20 very much concentrates on that with its mentoring scheme as well to try and give young women that direction and leadership that, that maybe wasn't there, say, 20 years ago in this industry when, when some of you started out. Kathleen, how important is that? So mentoring is one of our key pillars in Level 20, and we are on our third class of mentoring. We have 60 pairs, so 120 people this year. That was supplemented by the two classes before, which was another 70 pairings. So we have over 200 mentors and mentees in the system now, and the mentors that we have are senior men in private equity who I would say are learning more about being a mentor. But obviously the benefit for the mentees are they are they have a trusted relationship with these mentors. They can talk about the issues. They can talk about their careers. And it's, it's made a huge difference to those 230 that have come through the system so far. And you've actually devised a toolkit as well. Yes, that's another main initiative that we hope to deliver on this year for our 42 different sponsors. And within that toolkit, it is about recruitment, it's about maternity policy, and it's also just about general best practices within the, the sponsors, within the firms in, in the industry. It is wonderful for women starting out in this industry now to, to look to, to women like you who are at the top, who, who've got there. But how was it for you guys? Because you were doing it without <laughs> initiatives like Level 20 around. Is, do you recall how difficult it was and how much you relied upon support from the very few of you that were in the industry at the time? Well, I think it's, it's a very good point, and I think basically we just sort of got, got, on, got on with it, and we, and we had to. But I think you know, one, of the, one of the impetuses behind um, Level 20 was the fact that we had such a great um, support group, a small support group, but it really helped us. And although some of us come from competitive groups or you know, the, the, the GPLP relationships there, we managed to set all that aside and leave that at the door and just mentor each other, actually. And that's some of that inspiration, I think, has carried on into the mentoring program um, and into our network working and outreach as well. I think it's so important when you see other examples um, of, of people and women, you know, being successful, then you think, oh, maybe there's a road. Because without women there, it's hard for other women to say, oh, of course I can do that. And so um, that's what we hope to, to achieve and to spread. And I think that's what some of our members are seeing with each other, that support. This is a, this is a great industry. Mm -hmm. This is an industry that embraces change, responsibility, good corporate governance, better running of, of companies. It's also a fun industry. It's full of intelligent people who, are, again, are, are enjoying what they're doing. And so all of us want to attract more women into this industry because it's actually a great industry to be in. Yeah. And it's just not here in the UK. Um, we recently launched um, Level 20 in Germany as well, and that was hugely successful and well attended and embraced. So this is something that we see going beyond the shores of Great Britain onto the continent and hopefully North America at some point. Now Helen talked about the fact you had the support of each other, but if you could go back and, and talk to your 21-year-old selves, what little bit of advice would you, you give your former self about the career path you were choosing and, and any hurdles you might see in the future and, and what to do about them? I think being, being persistent, tenacious, and actually trying to seek out a mentor. You know, we're now providing this, 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 this mentoring network. Um, but you can seek out mentors for yourself, sponsors for yourselves. And I think that, that's been enormously helpful for me. I, I was fortunate enough to have a couple of mentors really on a sort of an informal basis. But they were definitely people I could bounce ideas off of them. Um, that really helped in the early years. Dana, any pearls of wisdom for your just add, younger self? Where there's a will, there is a way. <laughs> yeah. And um, there's always a solution and there's always something that you can achieve no matter what the barriers are. So you just have to go for it and find the solution. Mm -hmm. It was hard back in 25 years ago to know what the next 25 years would look like. But I now looking back, if I could tell myself that this is a long-term industry mm -hmm. and that there are different phases of your career mm -hmm. and each phase has new opportunities, new challenges. But I would just encourage young people like me 25 years ago to, to stick at it. Um, be persistent as, as Helen said, but, but, but the rewards can be, can be amazing. And so mm -hmm. think about the long term. If 
fantastically optimistic note to end on. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. It's been brilliant to talk to you.